So guys, you're gonna click on insert in the top left, and then you're gonna click on header. And then from here, you have a bunch of headers you can actually choose from, such as free column, blank header, and you have some more if you scroll down. These are what they look like. You have something called slice, slice two. It gives you an example of what it looks like right here. So in this case, I'm just gonna choose this one called Viewmaster. And you've also got more headers you can choose from, from office.com. And now once you have this, you can just name it anything you want. And to save it, you want to make sure you're on the header and footer tab, and then click on close header and footer. And now it's been saved. If you want to add a page number instead of a header, you just want to get rid of your header by clicking on the arrow right here, which will then get rid of it. You don't have to, of course, this is optional. But if you do want to add a page number, you just want to click on insert, and then you'll click on page number, and then click on top of page, and you have some options here. I usually go for the play number three, and then you can just add in whatever you want, and then the number will appear next to it. And then click on the close header and footer, and then that's how you do it.